It's Thursday, September 16th, and this is Love Notes, Daily Devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. Have you ever felt inadequate to the task of being a saint? That you just didn't have what it takes to be a holy person or to live into being what God might be calling you to do? Uh, You don't feel smart enough. You don't feel bright enough. You don't feel faithful enough. You have too much doubt. There are too many obstacles in the way. You can't figure out a plan to go forward. Whatever it is, there's something that you feel is deficient about you as a person or your place in the world. And so serving God seems like something that's very far off and really not in your mind at all. You're just trying to make it from day to day and survive. One of my favorite stories in scripture is about a man who felt exactly that way. We're told he was the least member of the smallest family of the weakest tribe in all of Israel, and his name was Gideon. Gideon lived at a time when the Midianites were the enemy of the people of God, and the Midianites were attacking them. The Midianites were kind of nomadic raiders. They would ride in on camels and they would steal everything in sight, enslaving women and children, taking away all the grain and the grapes. They would pick up the livestock. They were kind of like desert pirates in a way of thinking. So one day, we're told in the book of Judges, the sixth chapter, that Midian is on a rampage. And Gideon, well, he's taken some grain that needs to be threshed, you know, separated so that the grain is separated from the stalk. And he's crawled down in a wine press, which would be a hole in the ground covered with stone on the floor. It's a hole in the ground where you don't usually work on wheat. You do that in the open, but Gideon is afraid. So he crawls down in the wine press with his tools and his wheat, and he begins to process the wheat so that his family can have some bread. And I can imagine Gideon in that press, kind of peeking over every once in a while to make sure the Midianites aren't coming in the distance. Gideon shaking and quaking in fear, knowing that the Midianites could be around any corner at any time and take all of his hard work and maybe kill him. While he's working at this hole in the ground, scared out of his mind, an angel of the Lord appears to him. The angel of the Lord appeared and said to him, the Lord God is with you, you mighty warrior. Scared little Gideon must have looked around the wine press to see if he'd missed somebody at that point. Mighty warrior, there's nobody down here but me. I mean, what are you talking about, angel of the Lord? But the angel says, no, you're the one who will deliver Israel. Gideon argues and says that he is the least of the least of the least. There's no way God could use him for anything. But as the story continues, we find out that Gideon is worried about the wrong thing, not whether he's strong enough. What he needs to worry about is whether his God is strong enough to deliver the people from the hand of Midian. It doesn't matter who he picks. As a matter of fact, when Gideon goes out and recruits a whole army of people to help him fight against Midian, God comes and says, hey, you got too many people, send most of them home. And then God says, put away your spears and swords, for you will attack the Midianites at night with nothing but trumpets and lanterns. And that's what happens. Gideon gathers around the Midianite camp. At a signal, they all pull out their trumpets and blow them, and they lift the sacks off their lanterns. And the Midianites think they're being attacked by some kind of spiritual creature in the night, and they flee. You see, the story of Gideon reminds us that it's not about our qualifications so much as as it is about God's qualifications. God can use any of us. And if scripture tells us anything, it's that God uses the least likely, most vulnerable, sometimes the least holy people of all 
to do the work of God. Time and again, God calls people who don't want to go, who are sure they will fail, and then God supplies the strength and the power that they need to be servants of God. Remember that. God has work for all of us to do, and we should never shirk from doing it because we feel we're not worthy. Because the truth is, as long as God is worthy, you are. Let us pray. Almighty God, when we look in the mirror and we see ourselves as weak, failures, not strong enough, you see beloved servants created in your own image. Help us to be overwhelmed by your vision instead of ours. Help us to know that when you are worthy, we will be worthy and that you alone, God, can save us, can empower us, and can send us to do holy and mighty work in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.